What's going on guys? Back with another video today. Just wanted to do another compare and contrast on the only other gun that up to now I would say is at the level of the 92X performance. So that being said, um, let's go ahead and first of all, make sure the firearm is cleared. Magazines are out, gun is completely empty and ready for inspection. Uh, I already did a you know quick unboxing video of this. I went ahead and also compared it to the M983, just so you get a feel of two different types of Berettas. Now, that being said, this is the competition version or model of the 92s. So, this is the only pistol right now that I would just say you know is it's gonna give you that same wow effect that that the 92 brings this is the, the CZ Augie Shadow 2 um, think of it as a CC uh, Shadow 2 with uh, additional mods done by CZ Customs so that's um, you know in a nutshell pretty much what the CZ Augie Shadow 2 is um, Let's go ahead and just show you guys what it brings out of the box. It really, you know, gives you that, wow, I'm, I'm getting, you know, a lot for, for what it is. I mean, first of all, you're getting two extra mags apart from the one that it comes with. Before we go ahead and continue, let's go ahead and remove the third mag. Showing the camera that the firearm is also ready for inspection. And it is safe and cleared. So what CZ does is, you know, they go ahead and they tell you, okay, you want your Aki Shadow 2? Um, I'll give you an example. My dealer, they actually, um, you know, they're an authorized uh, CZ dealer. So they actually had a couple of them that they actually um, had in stock. I think it was like two or three. So they said, okay, you could go ahead and pick, for example, this one here. It, um, you know, it says we shot five rounds. This is the group. You know that we got from uh, those shots I think it's probably at seven yards what what they shoot it at um, maybe it's a little bit further maybe 10 I'm not really sure um, it'll actually tell you the single action um, trigger pull which would be three pounds the double action on this one is seven pounds and um, you know it tells you by who inspected it and what date it was uh, actually done a couple of the other ones I saw that had a lighter trigger, you know, for like, I think it was 2.75 pounds on single action. I got the one that was three just because, you know, a trigger that that sensitive is, it is I want to say a little bit more, not really dangerous if you're responsible you know, and you know what you're doing. But, you know, it even if you take a lot of precaution, you can always have an oops round, you know, here and there uh, when you're actually, you know, aiming at targets. So I think three pounds is is a, a, a solid number where, you know, you're comfortable, you're always in control, and it could, you know, prevent that from happening. And from what I'm told, over the use or over the, you know, um, I wouldn't really say wear and tear, but just over the the life of, of the pistol, the uh, trigger, you know, will actually get a little bit lighter too. So I think three is, is a solid number. Now... This pistol here, it is lighter than the 92X Performance. Let's just go ahead and get the boxes out of the way. That way it can just be easier to show both. I'll go ahead and, and talk a little bit first about the CZ. Um, it's a little bit lighter than the 92X. The... Um, the sights on this one, I actually prefer it, you know, after after shooting the 92X Performance, just for the reason that the uh, sights or the front bead, that fiber optic in the front, is smaller than on the 92X Performance. So, let me go ahead and show you guys here what I mean. All right, so 
those sides you could see the difference in um you know in the circumference of the uh of the red dot or of the the uh fiber optic in the front you could see the CZ Oki Shadow 2 does, um, you know, bring one that's slimmer. And the reason that I like about that is that if you're going to take shots further down range, it's easier for you to still see either your target, your bullseye, whatever it is that, you know, that you want to aim at. Up close, it's really not going to make much of a difference, you know, because anything from even 7 yards, 10 yards, you know, either beat it is going to do fine. But when you start taking further shots, maybe at 15 yards, 20 25 um the smaller uh, front beat of the two is is going to be a little bit more um effective because you see you know you see the target further down range and it'll actually take up less space of what you're actually seeing down sights now one thing that i really really have to say that i prefer on the 92x performance over the CZ Aki Shadow 2 would be the trigger, the actual trigger itself. You know, I've talked about the texture that um, that it has. Um, the double action is a little bit smoother on this by, I mean, maybe by a hair. It's it's not really, you know, it's not really something that's, that's um, a huge, huge difference. I mean, I'm talking subtle changes or subtle differences from each one of these two guns. So it's not really... A huge huge um, difference on either one but I do prefer the trigger the trigger pull and most of all the trigger reset on the 92x over the CZ Aki Shadow 2 now the grips on the CZ feel a lot better than on the 92x you know even with you know my history of, of shooting 92s um, I don't know if it's you know, this here, uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the texture up close. I mean, this is, I mean, pure, I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's it's like the grip on this is, is like, it's like, it's like sandpaper, man. It's like, I don't, I don't even know what it is. It's like ultra grip. I don't, I don't even have a, a word to describe it. I should pattern, you know, whatever, whatever they want to call that, but. It's smooth surface on the Beretta doesn't really give you that same, you know, that same grip that, that the CZ does. But I know that I've seen, you know, from the previous Italian videos that, that I was seeing when this gun was released at first, I know that a lot of the, uh, you, know, you know, shooters on, the, on Team Beretta, they changed out for the Tony Systems grip, which I guess it's, you know, more like a, like a metal instead of, of a plastic or maybe it's a, probably aluminum i want to say it, it, it's what it is but um you know i haven't really researched or, or looked into it yet because i just got this pistol and um i always go you know uh, by something that's stock first i call it my 3k rule which i do not either i just decide do any types of modifications or even consider doing anything on a pistol until I at least put 3,000 rounds in it. Why? Because it gives you time and um, to get used to and adjust to the new gun. This pistol, I've put probably about 1,000 rounds a week through it, so I am very comfortable with this. I mean, this is my favorite gun right now until this one, you know, came on board. Right now, it, it's kind of like, you know, the battle for the two. It's like, it's really tough to say at this point because... In a fair judgment, I've owned this for a lot longer, where this has only been, you know, just a couple of days. It's not even a week. Now, one thing that I do like more about the CZ, going back to it, is that right where I place my thumb, the safety is, it has that flush safety, um, where, you know, it's very low profile. It's not sticking out like it is on the 92X. At first, I thought it would actually be, um, you know, a little bit better in that sense. Because, you know, you could place your, your finger on the on the top, I guess, to rest it. But, you know, now that I'm actually seeing both, I prefer the low profile finish rather than on the 92X performance where it's actually... 
you know, sticking out and it's kind of like right here on both sides. So you can, you can actually get a really good grip, you know, by pressing down on it. And then when you get the grip on your gun, but you know, it's, it's something that if we're naturally your, your style or, or, you know, or your form of, of grabbing the pistol or wherever, let's say your finger naturally rests, if it's in this spot, this is going to be a, a little bit of a discomfort, but it is a easy, probably modification that you can adjust or you could even remove. I mean, I'll give you an example, the CZ, it brings this which is that same safety you know just like the 92x brings where you can actually add it to have like an ambidextrous switch where it'll be you know flush or flat on one side and then you can have that extended you know um, uh, well not trigger but safety lever up and down you know on the opposite side but after using this you know the way it is i really like the flush finish where the 92x doesn't um going back to another thing is the sights and my my patterns right now my groups you know where where they are i still don't have a cameraman or you know somebody just to you know help me record and and just help me get some film at the range so i'm just you know going over these videos here um Kind of like on a presentation basis without actually showing you guys how they perform on the field or on the range yet but um i can tell you this wherever you place a sights on this gun it's gonna go ahead and 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 do it its job i mean if you if you've got the right control the right experience you know and and, and you have good you know uh man it is late i don't even know i don't even know what i'm saying right now but i'm also a little bit sleepy i'm not gonna lie i'm just making this video you know because i just felt like it would only be fair to compare the 92x to the uh, cz shadow 2 because it's it's you know something that that's probably gonna be out there on youtube pretty soon so i kind of just wanted to to give you guys the first look on both but um going back to what i was saying on the sites the sights on, on this one and the patterns that I've been shooting, um, they seem to be a little bit low from where I'm actually aiming. Um, for some reason, when I go to grab, you know, this pistol and aim, the sights, they're aligning, but that front sight is slightly, slightly going just a little bit low. It could be the fact that this sight or the rear sight is very elevated. So, you know, it could be a matter of that. I haven't touched it yet because like I said, I follow my 3K rule, but um, but that's something that, that, you know, it just has me a little bit concerned. This one is a lot more um, brought down. So it is a lot more in line, you know, with the actual barrel and the sights but um or and the slide better said but you know it's also a matter of time i mean the first time that i got this easy i was like man you know it's it's not aiming really like precisely where i wanted to now i would say i don't know what i was thinking but i was crazy because this is perfection you know on every level this right here has just a couple couple of little changes that you need to do um in all honesty i mean this is a new channel these are new reviews that you know that i'm putting out for you guys um so i think it's only fair that i do give you my you know my honest opinion on both and you know especially from the get-go right now my favorite pistol still is the cz aki shadow 2 as much as i love berettas which brand do i love more I would definitely say Beretta, um, but for its purpose, the CZ Aki Shadow 2 is winning right now first place by just a little bit. Now, one thing 
that I'm also going to say because uh, I do like being fair. This pistol has modifications done on it from CZ Customs. You know, maybe if we were comparing a 92X performance to, let's say, um, a CZ Shadow 2 instead of a CZ Occu Shadow 2, then, hey, you know, it might be a fair or a better comparison. Um, if I can actually get a smaller bead in the front, if I can remove the uh, safety or, or the... Uh, extended safety you know the one that stands out and just maybe get something low profile or flushed um to the frame kind of like on this pistol here and maybe changing out the plastic grip to the uh tony systems um i think we would be probably back where this pistol would definitely take first place but right now it, it's not there yet however you know this you're looking at probably uh, an MSRP of $1,300. Same maybe as a CZ Shadow 2. A CZ Yaku Shadow 2. You're looking probably at $2,000. So with that being said, if the same amount of money or maybe even a little bit less that you spend to get this gun to your personal liking and your personal feel it will probably be an, an even match but for right now um just by just by a little bit i got the cz Yagi shadow 2 still holding the place for the number one pistol thus far in my personal opinion guys can it vary on a you know person to person basis yes um i've had a couple of my buddies at the range that they shot both some like the Aki Shadow 2 better. Some prefer the 92X performance. Um, so it's really a matter of preference. I mean, it's something that next video that I do in regards to both of these pistols, I'm going to see if I can A, um, show you guys, you know, how it is that, that I'm shooting with both, you know, to kind of give you an idea of, uh, you know, more or less like wh where I'm at, you know, as as far as my... My shooting skills, I'm still very new to pistol shooting, so, you know, I, I do want to start getting into competitions. But like everything, you got to walk before you run. So, you know, this is something that you guys are actually going to follow me in the process. You know, if if it's something that, you know, you're interested in, you like the videos that I'm bringing out. And, um, you know, they're only going to get better with time. But um, apart from that, I want to see if I can get a couple of, of, you know, guys at the range or, you know, girls at the range, whoever you know, to either A, someone that's a brand new shooter or has very little experience, you know, just to kind of see uh, what their opinion is on, on both of these pistols and then maybe get a couple of guys that have more experience or a little bit more intermediate advanced shooters and see their opinion on, on both of these pistols. But um, you can't go wrong with either one, guys. I mean, again, CZ Aku Shadow 2 is beating it by a little bit. Um, if it was maybe the CZ Shadow 2, I think it'll be more of an even or fair comparison, you know, based on MSRP. But um, but they're both still great guns to shoot. Um, I want to give this one a little bit more time. Maybe when I put a couple more rounds, you know, through it and I do that other video that, that I just mentioned to you guys, you know, I might have a change of heart. So go ahead and like, subscribe, ask any questions that you feel, you know, you might want me to answer if I miss them out on this video. So um, just let me know and we'll keep going forward from there. Thank you.